we got an interesting yeah. story here. This has been uh, two weeks, as you know, uh, today since a gunman broke into Sandy Hook Elementary School, killed 26 teachers and students. Since then, there's been an ongoing debate about how to prevent another tragedy from happening, including a suggestion to arm school teachers. Take a look at what happened yesterday in West Valley, Utah, uh, West Valley City in Utah. This was a six hour seminar where teachers were taught, among other things, how to properly handle a gun. And the whole course was free. Clark Apotion talked the course. He's the chairman of the Utah Shooting Sports Council. Casey Hansen is a special education teacher who trained to use a gun at Clark's class. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for being with us this morning. Clark, let me Thank start you. with you. Uh, you. You've actually been uh, teaching these courses for a long time. Uh, I guess after Newtown, you put out a press release saying that you want to you want to kick it up. You you are going to continue to offer free instruction to uh, public service workers, teachers, and maybe other people other than teachers. Tell me what what you were intending to do and what the response has been. Well, we're teaching uh, for the past 12 years. We've taught school employees free of charge. And, uh, and we had a, a fantastic turnout uh, yesterday. We continue to do this. We're not necessarily arming teachers. In fact, it, it, far be it. It is completely up to them whether they want to obtain the permit after the training and uh, get a firearm. And even if they get a firearm, it's still up to them whether they want to carry in the schools. But I, I tend to think after the events in Connecticut and Aurora, Colorado, that a lot more teachers are going to go to school armed. What does it take to get a, a concealed carry permit in, uh, in Utah? License. takes a uh, class by a certified instructor uh, and there's plenty of those here in Utah and uh, you've got to sit through the class you've got to have a background check in fact your background is checked every 24 hours after that uh, all right uh, Casey uh, welcome you are a K to 12 special education teacher what do you what do you teach and do you carry a gun at school um, I am a hearing specialist and so I work with special education students at 14 different schools each week and I currently do not carry a weapon to school. Do you carry, do you have a gun at all? I don't right now. I would like additional training before I even consider which gun I would like and if I'm gonna bring it to school. And would you, if you got that additional training and got a gun, would you consider keeping a gun uh, in your class at school on you or, or locked away? Honestly, I would. Um, I would take a bullet for any one of the students in the school if it came down to it. And I just want extra options to protect myself as well as my students. <coughs> Clark, so is there? I believe I would bring one. Clark, let me ask you this. Uh, in your training, uh, where it applies to teachers or someone who would have students or other people around them a lot, is there extra training given to ensuring that, uh, I mean, I would imagine in a school situation, one of the things you'd want to be cautious of is a student getting hold of that gun, someone stealing that gun. Do you, do you deal with that specifically? Um, well, we, we teach weapon retention of sorts, but, you know, it, um, we trust these professionals like, like Casey to be around our kids for you know, eight to nine hours a day. Why would anyone think that they would act in some way to put children at harm? Yeah. Yes. Um, but, you know, I mean, and they're going to act with good character and good decorum, um, and especially uh, when they have a firearm, they realize the, the risks and the, uh, or the potential risks involved in that. Um, we've been doing this for 12 years. We haven't had a problem in Utah despite the uh, dire predictions from the other side. Um, there are lots of teachers in Utah that are already carrying in schools, and they don't have to notify the district or the principal about it either. Mr. Poshian, Ron Brownstein from National Journal. I can understand why in a crisis someone would want there to be an armed adult in a school. On the other hand, in the last few months, we've also had a shooting at a movie theater, as you noted, at a Sikh temple, and firefighters who were fired upon and killed this week. So is the, is the logical extension of this argument that we should be arming folks at all of those places as well? And then where do you draw the line? Well, I, I mean, you draw the line. I, I, we're we're going to give folks like Casey another option rather than jumping in front of a bullet. I mean, it's, why do we put fire extinguishers and medical kits inside classrooms. So we should don't firefighters be armed as well, in doctors. your view? Should firefighters be armed as Excuse well, as me? Should firefighters be armed? Should movie should ushers... Should the firefighters be armed? Yes. Should movie well, ushers be armed? we shouldn't armed? necessarily disarm firefighters. We, I, 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 shouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think that we would want to disarm them. It's up to them. If, uh, you know what, who is going to protect the firefighters then? You know, if... It, who, who do they call? Who, who exactly does, does somebody call when a shooter comes into the school? They call people with guns. And 
but unfortunately, the, the people with the guns show up a little bit too late. The actual first responders are folks just like Casey here who engage that gunman. And we learn by sad experience that if they are denied the right to have a firearm for lawful self-defense, what they do is they end up just getting shot and their students get shot along with them. Clark, you want to give them one more option. Clark, you just said that uh, teachers who bring guns into the classroom don't have to notify the school district, the principal uh, as well. Um, I had a lot of teachers on my, on my social media pages who said this is the last thing they want to do. Should parents be notified if their children is sitting in a classroom where a teacher is armed with a gun? No. Why should they be? This teacher is acting in a professional manner. If they, did, if they acted in an unprofessional manner with a gun or without a gun, then they'd be removed. Well, let me ask you this, Clark. Uh, Why would we think we trust we trust our we trust our kids with these teachers every day? Right. But we trust um, them to teach. But, but, why would Clark, you think you're, that they're you're, you're putting a lot of weight? Have a you're putting a lot of weight on the fact that we check people and, and they have background checks. Now, I, we we got a report here from the Salt Lake City Tribune uh, that you trained uh, FBI fugitive J Jason Derek Brown. He's charged with shooting and killing an armored car guard. He took your class uh, while working to get a, a concealed weapons permit. Uh, he did pass all of the necessary background checks. No, that's not true. What part's not, not true? And he wasn't, he wasn't an FBI fugitive when I, when I taught him either. Well, that, but, I, I get that uh, point. You trained a guy who subsequently pass. became an FBI fugitive after allegedly yeah. shooting somebody dead. Yeah, th yeah, that is true. And he, he never got an opportunity to pass the, uh, to pass the background. It was, it was stopped just before that. How did he get the gun? And, uh, what's your point, though? How did he get the gun? We, we sold him the gun. Not me, but, but you I just mean, said the, you can't get a gun without a background check, and now you're telling me he didn't pass a background check, but you sold him a gun. So did you sell oh, him a gun? Oh, I see what you you mean. sell I a man who became an FBI fugitive after shooting a background check. Clark, let me ask my question. Uh, did you ask a man, okay. did you sell a man a gun without a background check? No. So you just told me you sold him a gun, and when no. I told you he passed a background okay. check, you said he didn't. Which one is it? There are, there are two kinds of background checks. One's for the concealed carry permit and one's for a firearm. He did pass the background check for the firearm. Got it. Okay. Brady that was my question. Uh, all right. Casey, uh, okay. are you concerned that you might be in a... Cl so how do we deal with this? Let's assume we, we take this at face value. You, you and others get trained properly in terms of safety. You're comfortable with a gun. What then happens? You keep a gun in your, in your, uh, your classroom, perhaps, locked, one hopes. Uh, and, and then how do you have that added responsibility now of making sure you're trained to use it properly, but you're amongst people who may not be, including students. Does that worry you? It does worry me, but I am going to keep my gun on me because I am at four, five, six different schools a day. I, I travel a lot, and so I can't keep it in a classroom. I can't keep it locked up in the building. So, of course, it's going to be on me, and I am not going to draw attention to it. I'm not going to tell my students, hey, just FYI, I'm carrying a weapon on me. Um, it's just, I'm just not going to say anything to the students because that's not their worry. Their worry is to learn. Their worry is to grow up and be our future. And that's all they need to worry about. They don't need to worry about coming to school and somebody attacking them and somebody possibly shooting them. I mean, our kids, as young as kindergarten, understand that bad guys are bad guys could come in mm -hmm. to the school and hurt them and we don't want them to worry about that we need to keep on going with our education and they shouldn't small children shouldn't have to worry that school should be unsafe from your lips to god's ears i hope uh, kids didn't have never have to worry about anything other than going to school and getting their education casey hansen exactly. is a k-12 special education teacher in salt lake city clark Apotion is the chair of the utah shooting sports council thanks to both of you for being with us this morning